Hello everyone, today I'm going to be sharing my Montessori inspired learning activities for ages 2 to 6 years old. So whether you are a homeschool parent, a teacher, or maybe just a grandparent at home who wants to teach your children, today you're going to be getting some really fun ideas. Alright, so let's get started with the first activity. Let's go. Hello. Hello, so here is Jade and the first activity is a spatial awareness activity and it's a copy activity in which the child is going to be copying this side over here and it's going to be doing it on this side. Um, this is a great activity to develop logic, critical thinking, spatial awareness. Um, spatial awareness is very important as children learn the relationship of, that objects have with each other in terms of space and position. Okay, Jade, so let's get started. Here we are using some Unifix blocks. Go ahead, Jade, get started, hon. And she's just sim simply going to be copying this activity here. It's a copy activity. You can do this with Unifix blocks because you can use Unifix blocks for so many things. Okay. Okay, so here we have the next activity, and this is a numbers quantity activity. And the child is going to be using these little links here to put the number quantity on these cards. And I got these cards at the dollar store. They're Thomas to train, and I went ahead and I hole punched all of them so that she can attach the little links to the bottom of the cards to represent the number quantity for each card. Um, I'll link below where I got these little links if you can't find them in your local um, dollar store. But the cards, I definitely got them at the dollar store. All right, and this is it was also a great activity for fine motor practice as the children work with these little links. Okay, let's get started. Number one. Let's put how many links we need for number one. <laughs> one Thomas the Train. And it, gets, it takes practice for the children to put the little links through a little hole, as you can see. There you go. Good job. Let's go to number two. Ooh, okay, let's let's go ahead and put in the right number of links on the card there. And the child goes is going to be going on and on, attaching the links until they get to ten. This is going to be great practice and this and this fun because they love building these little chains of things. Um, and it's really just really fun for them. Number three, go on. Oh, you found one that has three already. Good job. All right. So all you have to do is attach it there. Okay, so, so far we have one, two, three. Let's go on to number four. Okay, so here's the next activity and my two and a half is going to be doing it. You can try this with three year olds as well, maybe with some four year olds. And here I have some cards that I got at Target. And these are the dry erase cards that you can trace the numbers and it has the number quantity in the back. And then here I have some counters that I got at Staples. And so the child is going to be covering up the objects with these little chips to practice number quantity and one-to-one -one correspondence. Okay, I mean, let's go ahead. Yes, yes, these are bingo chips. Let's go ahead and start with the number three. Let's cover up three elephants. Ready? One, let's count. Two, and three. Very good, three elephants. Now let's see what number this is. <gasps> this is number five. Let's cover up five jelly beans with your little bingo chips. And of course, if you don't have these bingo chips, you can use beans or whatever you have. One, let's count, Emily. Two, three, 
four and five very good let's go on to the next number number two here we have two dinosaurs let's cover up two dinosaurs now one and two very good let's go on to number six now okay so here I have the next activity and this is practicing syllables we're going to be clapping the syllables and I have these cards from the magicmom.com I'll link them below so that you can download them for free I have a little clip and we're going to be counting the syllables in each of these words um, counting syllables is very important for reading as the child is going to be dividing the word into chunks it's going to help with the coding and with the reading okay Jay do you want to go ahead and do the first one there yes. go ahead hi hi Alligator. How many? Four. Okay, let's clip four. And the child goes on and on, clipping each of the cards. Okay, let's go on to the next one. Ball. Okay, let's clap ball. How many ball? Ball. How many? One. Okay, one. Very good. So the next one. Tree. How many in tree? Tree. Okay, let's clip. Okay, let's clip one. Good job. Okay, so this next activity, the child is going to be learning instruments. So I got these three-part cards. I think it was at a local teacher supply store. And it brings the, the names of the instruments and the cards. And I also got these little instruments here to practice with these cards. And these are Safari LTD. And I'll link them below if you want them. Because you can actually make your own cards if you want. Or see if you can find them online. Okay, so let's do the first one. What is that called? Violin. Violin. Yes, violin. violin. You want to match it there? You want to match it, Iris? Violin. So they would match the instrument and then they would find the card. Let's find the card that starts with violin. Let's see. Violin. And it helps that the child is looking here and they can self-check that they have it right. The next one is a what? What is this called? Guitar. 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 Let's put the guitar up here. Another violin. No, that's actually a guitar. And let's find the word guitar now. Good. Yes, go, go. Guitar. guitar. Very good. And as you can see, they can self-check that they have done the right matching. And the child will go on and on practicing their instruments this way. Okay, so here we have the next activity. In this activity, um, I have my two and a half year old. Yes, demonstrating. So here I have these little cards that I got. I think it was at Walmart or one of those stores a long time ago where it has the letter on one side and then something that represents the letter, like M, male. And then I have some objects here that she's going to be matching to the pictures. Um, to make it more challenging, if you have older children, like three or four years old, you could have them match the objects to the beginning letter sounds. But right now we're working with just matching. And so my two-year-old is just going to be matching the picture here and learning book, new vocabulary words. I mean, look at this little bear. What is he doing? What does he have in his hands? A book, b -b book. Can you find the book in here? Where is the book? Can you find the book? Book is over there. Let's put it right on top of that card. There you go. The next one here, the little dog has a what? What is that? That's a ball. That's a ball or a dish. Can you find that over here? Where is that? Here. Duh, duh, dish. Let's put it right on top of the little dog. Yes. The next one here, the elephant has what on his feet? What does he have on his feet? Socks. He has socks. Can you find a sock right there in the little basket? Yes. Sock. Right there on top of the little elephant. Very good. Look at him. He is um, holding what? What is he holding in his hand? He is holding this. What are those called? They're called socks. That's called eggs. Eh, eh, eggs. Can you find the egg over here? Where's the egg? Here. Yes, right there is the egg. Let's match it right on top of the little man there. Yes. Okay, so the next activity here, I have some popsicle sticks. Um, you can get these at the dollar store or any craft store. 
even Walmart. And then I have these little cards that I've created, and I'm going to link them below so you can download them for free. And the child is going to just copy here um, how to make these patterns. And this is a good, again, copy activity, spatial awareness, um, good for logic, critical thinking, um, and it's great for the kids. Let's do the next That's one, huh? It, yes, let's do the next one now. Let's see if you can do the next one here. We have to use the same colors that they use. So the child is going to be building. This is a really fun one for the kids. And I have other ones that I'm going to link below if you want to challenge your older kids as well. Very good, Iris. And the child will go on and on doing all of the cards. And I have lots of different ones and some of them can become a little bit more challenging. All right, going on to the next activity. Okay, so here I have a next activity. This is a working with money and with coins and with coin value. Here I have a little mat that I got at the Target dollar spot when the school supplies were out. And it brought its own coins, but I want to use real coins so that the children are able to identify real coins when they see them. Here I have a little guide. So if you have little ones like four or five-year-olds, they can use this as a guide to do this activity. So, I have my six-year-old doing this activity, and this is just practice for her because she should be able to do this easily as she knows which ones are the quarters, which ones are the nickels, which ones are the dimes. So, we're actually just going to be just putting the coins on there for her, and then she's going to be adding up everything at the end and seeing how much money is on the piggy bank as a challenge for her. But if you have four-year-olds, four or five-year-olds, you want to work with having them um, recognize which ones are 25 cents, which ones are nickels, which ones are pennies, and having them um, recognize the value of these coins. All right, very good, Jade. Okay, we're going to go on to the next activity. Okay, so the next activity here, we have some sequencing cards. The child is going to be putting these cards in order, and there's like really easy ones and intermediate ones and harder ones. So I was, let's try the first one here, and this one's going to be age progression, and we're going to have to put these in order from youngest to oldest. Ready, Iris? We're going to mix them up. Okay, let's put the youngest one here, the first one. Who would it be? Yes, the little girl. Then who's next? It wouldn't be the grandma, no? Mm -hmm. Yes, very good. Who's next? Yes, and lastly, the oldest one is the grandma. As you can see, they have she has put the cards in order. And here we have all different types of things like events, um, preparation of meals, all types of little cards. This was just one example. It even has life cycles of, of bugs and stuff like that. All right, moving on to the next activity. Okay, so here we have the next activity, and this is a typical Montessori practical life activity in which the child is transferring these um, noodles from one side to the other, these macaronis. And um, yeah, this is good for concentration, also for those fine motor skills. No, it's not cooked. For those fine motor skills and for actually learning how to hold a spoon and transferring things is a regular practical life activity that the child does. Okay, Emily, you want to hold this? We're going to be transferring. Now, this child is holding it with the left hand. You, you let them hold it as they feel comfortable. We're going to be putting all these little macaronis on this side, Emily. We're going to try our best not to drop any over here on the tray. We're going to try our best to transfer it as neat as possible. Go ahead, Emily. Let's put the macaroni on the other side, okay? No, we're going to use the spoon, okay? We're going to use this little spoon here. And you're going to go ahead and transfer it. You let them use transfer as best as they can. It's okay if you drop some. Just put them back in the bowl. It's good practice for them. And let's do it slowly so that we don't drop any. Very good concentration. Very slowly. And if you want, yes, very good. And, and this is very good for concentration. Um, as the child focuses, yes, that's okay. I'm transferring without dropping any of the little macaronis on the tray over here. And with Montessori, you can do this with rice, with beans, um, do it with um, liquids as well. Very good, Emily. Okay, and so here is an activity of learning time. And here's a little clock and some dice. And she's going to be rolling the dice and writing in the time with a dry erase marker. 
I got this little clock and the uh, dice as part of a little Lakeshore Learning uh, time pack and I'll link that below for you guys. Alright, Jade, you want to go ahead and roll the dice? Okay. Okay, what does that say? 245. 245. Okay, go on. 245. And now we're going to write it right here. The digital time, 245. 245. Hope you guys have enjoyed watching all of these activities. <clears throat> For more videos like this, please subscribe and don't forget to click on the notification bell. Jay, do you want to roll again? Let's erase. On to the next video, guys. Bye bye, Jade. See you later. Can you find yellow? Where's yellow? Good. Can you find red? Where's red? Good job. Can you find green?